Hey everybody, welcome back to another plan with me. I am planning for the week that was July 13th through the 19th. I am using this very old kit from Scribble Prints Co. This is called Merbabe. It came out last year um, and is no longer available, which I'm very sorry about. The monthly is though, if you're still interested in this art um, from Scribble Prints Co. But uh, if you know me, you know I did not plan all last summer or all of last Halloween. So um, I had this kit kind of just waiting to be used last year and obviously I did not use it uh, so I want to use it this year it's one of the older summer kits that I definitely wanted to make sure I used it is an older format so it's gonna be a little bit interesting not too terrible because you know like worst case scenario I can just cut these ombre heart checklists up um, see and it even has the old glitter sampler so it is a little bit older but like I said it is one of the older um, summer kits that I did want to go ahead and use and I kind of moved some stuff around to be able to use it because I really liked the art and I'm really excited about it. But with that being said, um, Halloween for me is going to start very early because there was like, well, more than three, but I nixed one of them already and I'm honestly thinking about moving another one too. But there was like four Halloween kits that I really wanted to use that I'm going to end up using this year because I really, really want to. And I'm starting Halloween in like September. So, oops. Um, what is going on? Oh, we have a storm outside right now. So my outside cameras are going crazy. But anyway, let's get started. So with this kit, I am pulling in. So this kit, realistically, you could use sparkly pink hollow regular sparkly hollow which is also another one i'm bringing in like look at the sparkly hollow with this regular hollow sparkly purple hollow um which i've used sparkly purple hollow and sparkly pink hollow quite a bit those are the eight dollar wiggles and they're like literally the prettiest ones ever but i have shimmering lagoon i think this like gorgeous like blue I'm obsessed with it. So I figured this would be really nice and give like that underwater vibe. I do also have a lot of sparkly hollow. I pulled out the solid headers cause I'm like, what if I want to use solid he headers in the middle? I don't know. Um, but I also pulled out cause there's, there is bottom washi, but there's no 15 millimeter strip. So I pulled out these from two different wiggles. I don't remember what either of these are called. Maybe prism and like pink prism. I don't know, but they're the inverted, but I feel like these could be cool. I don't know if I'm not adventurous. I always do this thing where I like try and be adventurous and it doesn't work out for me. So <laughs> we'll see, but I'm going to get started with the glitter header. Sorry, it's a whole sheet. So I need to like find that. It's been a minute since I've used a glitter header sheet that looks like this. Also, I do have a uh, Peppa Pig bandaid on. I got the worst paper cut today. I was like sliding stacks of stickers into other stacks of stickers and I just got into a habit of doing it and it just cut my finger pretty bad actually. This is probably the worst one I've had yet. <laughs> and I've had some pretty rough ones, but I'm just gonna keep a bandaid on it for a while because it hurts really bad. But we did just get new band-aids with our latest um, grocery order because we were running low anyway and Avery picked trolls. So maybe the next time you see me with a band-aid, I'll be wearing the trolls band-aid because that's what she likes so yeah i was actually <laughs> so i wanted to get this video up on sunday today's saturday night there's no way it's gonna go up sunday because it's saturday night at like 9 30. um i took i when i said that in last play with me i did not realize that sunday was two days away i thought it was three days away so i was fully prepared to take a day off in between anyways so <laughs> my bad so there's the fashion girls then we have regular boxes and those are not getting used at least for now. And then I have this box that I want to use. I definitely want to use. Well, here's the tall boxes and then I have the freaking, where's the other box? Did I already lose it? Yeah, it's right here. The girl gang, it's cute. Ooh, I have a lot going on here. Let me see. So I think this one I'm going to use thankful thought style because I really like this. And it gives me like quote box vibes, which is nice. And I don't know if I want to like sub any of these out, honestly. Maybe I'll use the webbed hand, but I kind of love the rest of these. And I don't even know if I'll have like space for this fashion girl. We'll see. I'm definitely going to use the scene though, because I really love that. 
This week, my parents visited for a few days. They were here for four days. It was really nice. They haven't come to visit, nor have we visited them, but I ha we haven't seen them since um, a week after I gave birth to Reagan. So it's been well over a year. And I'm just really happy that they came to visit. We had a really great time, as you guys will see. Um, <laughs> for reference this week, hold on, let me see what I wanna use here. So this is like a scene, so should I use the girl then? Um, Cause this is like flat lay, flat lay, and these are two here, and then I wanna use these two. Maybe I'll use this at the bottom and I'll use the girl, yeah. Um, For reference, when I talk about this week, my, my two brothers also came. And my, the older of the two is 14. He starts high school this year, which is honestly wild to me because I saw him get born, be born, get born, be born, which is just crazy. I'm using hollow bougie boxes, by the way. Real quickly, I have been getting, almost in every play with me, I've been getting asked what these clear stickers are. These probably are the worst color to show you, but these are bougie boxes, essentially, which is just an entire full box of foil and it gives like the prettiest shine in the background. And it's incredibly difficult to see on camera, which is why they look like just clear boxes. But I'm telling you guys in person, it gives the best, the best look. But anyway, so he is 14, starts high school this year and is like the most loving, caring kid I've ever met in my life. <laughs> like as a, four as a 14 year old, he's just like so sweet. He's so good with my, my girls. Like he just loves them. He just wants to play with them. If and when they move here, he is 100% signed up to be babysitter whenever we decide to have a babysitter. Cause like, he's just so good with them. Sweet boy. And then my other brother is a turd. He's 11. He's at that like, I don't know if this is like a typical age to be a troll, but he's a troll. Drives me nuts. There's gonna be a thing I mark in here later he drove me nuts. I love him to death, but he's always looking to fight. I'm like, boy, if you want fight, we go fight. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to, I think I do, because I haven't used solid headers in such a long time, and I feel like they're gonna add a lot to the spread, especially because like the scripts are gonna be just regular hollow, but I wanna bring in as much sparkly hollow as possible because it just looks so good with this. My girls are both actually awake right now. They're on the verge of falling asleep. Brian fell asleep early. He's not feeling too good. He, we did yard work the other day and he, his allergies just started acting up with the grass and everything. So he's been pretty like itchy <laughs> and he's just not feeling too hot. So he went to sleep early, but my girls are on the edge of sleep. And I was like, I just want to film this guys. Can you just like lay here for two seconds, <laughs> please? So, they'll probably be asleep soon. This looks really nice. Usually I get nervous when I switch things up, as always, but, and that's a hard but. Sometimes it looks good, so we'll see. This was a good week. I'm actually not using any extender boxes, which I was surprised about, but there was enough things per day. Like, I think there was max eight things per day, which does fit. So I'll figure that out. That will be a future me problem. I don't plan on doing my day by day today. I'll probably do it. I mean, obviously for you guys, it'll be in like a second or in a few minutes, but for me, it'll probably be tomorrow because I'm just like not feeling it. Uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna use her down here. Excuse me, so I'm gonna do, I guess I'm not gonna use the fashion girl. Am I really not? I really liked her. I'm gonna use her. I'm just gonna skip, I don't know. I'll skip one of these. So I'll use this one and then the ice cream. Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh. It has been a day. It's been Oh, it's been a year. I mean, let's be realistic. But, okay. And I will be caught up on Playing With Maze this week then. So I'm excited for that. I'm like, oh, guys, I'm just so... I love summer kits, but I just wish, like, 
October, I'm gonna say September now just because September is when I'm starting Halloween at this point. But I just went to push September through like March. Wasn't so heavy, holiday heavy, and like birthday heavy. I guess even April now too is like not birthday heavy because like I'm sad. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff I want to use and I just can't. And I even contemplated getting a second planner, but I was like, no, it's just useless. <laughs> like, it's not worth it, Kirsten. You'll be fine. Just suck it up. This looks really good, and I'm really happy I did this. It might be a little too much, but... Oops, it's fine. So, let's see. So, it would have been... Should I just keep it going? I don't see why not. I'll just do it like I would the second row. I feel like that is probably best. I think my kids fell asleep. Surprising. We've made cookies the past like two nights and I think it's finally catching up to my stomach. Cause not only have we made them the past two nights but I have also ate almost all of them by myself. Cause Brian's like, oh, I just made them for you. I'm like, fam, no. <laughs> Eat them with me. She's trying to make me gain weight. Trying to fatten me up. Alright. I think I accidentally got a cat hair under that bougie box, but... Oops. Also, I organized all my wax melts today. It might be stupid to think, like, to organize them just because I know I have more constantly coming in, but they look so nice. Maybe I'll give you guys an Instagram look because they look really cute. Okay, there's that. I have to save this because I'm going to need it. And let's use this girl because I really like her. Under the purple. And then... I don't really care about either of those, honestly. So maybe I will use the webbed hand. Because, like, I just don't really care about either of those. Yeah, and I feel like that kind of flows, right? Maybe? I don't know. Oops, sorry. There we go. All right, let's do the rest of these bougie boxes quickly. I'm so happy I used this. There was, so I've said this a million times. You guys know I didn't plan last year for the most part. I still had every single kit for each week that I wanted to use it picked out. So putting those all away was kind of sad in itself. Um, but there was a lot of kits that I was like, oh, I should probably use this this year. And then obviously they all get bumped because new art comes out and I'm like, why <laughs> can you just give me a minute please like i just want to use these so i have a lot of kits that are just sitting waiting and i will use them trust me i know andre is like no you won't but i promise i will just give me some time like with this kit i'm using it and i really like it gosh and i didn't think i'd miss hollow so much but it's just such a beautiful foil okay do i want to do my sidebar first before I figure out the bottom washi. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes because I'm a little bit nervous about it. So let's just move this quickly. I pulled out the white with sparkly hollow wiggle for this. I'm just gonna pop this in. I could have easily pulled in the um, like celestial I feel would look good with this, but white with sparkly hollow seemed safe. And I'm gonna use a squared off box and I pulled out last week, if you guys remember, was one week until my parents were here. So I pulled out the little grandparents sticker once again because it's really cute and I hardly ever get to use these. And I'm going to put it um, over here. And then I have, this is from the baby sheet, <laughs> oh, but it's perfect. It says they are here in hollow. So they are here. I actually really like that. So. I'm gonna do that. Another header. As you can see, I'm leaving a little bit of space, or maybe you can't see. I don't know. That's what I've been doing, and I really like it. And then I'm gonna grab a work header. It is in light purple to mark my work schedule for the week. And I'm gonna use the blue because I really, really want some blue in this sidebar. Although this entire spread is mostly going to be blue, but it's fine. Reagan's awake, I can hear her. Okay, and then 
Do I do another one in between? I think I do. And then I'm going to do the top box, but I'm going to cut her. Which one do I want to use? They're all so beautiful. Okay, so I used purple hair. So I need to use some sort of different color hair. So maybe the blue. Do I want to have her facing outwards? Kind of. Okay, let's just use her. So many options. Andrea, why do you give us so many box options? It's not fun because they're all good. Okay, and then I will just cut that, which is easy. So as you can see, I have not filled out the spread yet, but it's only been a couple days since I did it, so. Just a little tiny bit left. Perfect. Oh, she look fabulous. Okay, so I figured that out, which is always exciting and good. Let's do the dates because everything else makes me nervous. Um, have I used any of these date covers yet? Let me. Have I used Shimmering Lagoon, guys? I don't think I have. Cool. Okay. So let's grab some of these date covers. What I say it was the 13th? Yes. 13th through 19th. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I had a sparkly pink hollow and sparkly purple pulled out. And I was like, I'm just going to use sparkly purple because I just love sparkly purple. It's my absolute favorite. It's like my kryptonite. Sparkly purple, matte copper. My two faves. But um, I was like, I haven't used this one yet. And it still, like, it looks really good with it. So I might as well. And... Uh, so far, I'm not mad, even though I've only put down date covers, so it's fine. And I do really like that sparkly hollow in the middle. I think the fully foiled headers, at least for me, I have to only use them with like certain kits because sometimes it can be a little bit overpowering. And I know a lot of people who actually, what I should have did is like did five and had it be like the fifth one and not just in the middle. That could have been really cool, but... I'll just try and remember that for next time because that would have been cool. Okay, there's that. Oh no, I'm dropping things. Ugh. Okay, and then let's figure out this washi situation. So like I said, I pulled out these two because I thought that they looked, oh, the pink looks. Mm. Where's the washi? Because I don't know. That's not washi. Here it is. So it is blue. I personally feel like both look good. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'll just use this one because the pink might be too much. Yes. I really want to use it, guys. I'm just going to go for it. I didn't go for it last week even though I wanted to. And I low-key regretted it. So we're just going to go for it. And it might be a lot, but that's okay. This paper is like a lot thinner than I imagined it to be. I don't think I've ever used an inverted foil. I mean, obviously this is inverted, but it's not as thin as this. Oh, I actually really like this. Okay, and then let's do the blue twinkle on here. I love me a good twinkle wiggle. Ooh, so pretty. Okay. Oh, the long ones always get like wrapped around my fingers. My cats don't even come in here. I do not understand. Okay, and then let's cut this with my slice tool. Just link down below in the little Amazon shop in case you're interested. I have all my planner supplies and stuff in there. If I use anything new or if I find anything I really like, I tend to add it because y'all need to know it's good stuff. Okay. Still a little bit nervous about this bottom washi, but I've committed, so I'm just going to deal with it. Like, I like it, but I'm nervous about it. Maybe I should have used the pink. I don't know. Let me know what you think, if it's too much or not. I feel like even with the, it might be too much. Whatever, I've committed. Okay, there's that one. Cute, okay, let's go ahead and do some full box overlays. Um, obviously I have the blue ones 
two, three. Is that how many I have? Yeah, and then I have this hollow. I have these from Sadie Stickers, which I thought could be kind of cute. They're more floral though. I think that's everything I pulled out. I don't know. I think I'm gonna use this one on the girl gang. Oh my gosh, I just got really hot all of a sudden. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm gonna do my favorite thing ever, which is cutting one for the double box. Let's see. Okay, I'm already really hyped about this blue. It went off a little, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I really like that. Okay, cool. And let's put the rest of these on. I feel like if I wanted to be super creative, I would have used sparkly pink, sparkly purple, and the Shimmering Lagoon all in the same spread, but not that creative. Yeah, I like this. I think this looks good. I don't know if I would have brought in more hollow just because like this is already kind of a lot, but I think, I mean, obviously I still like it, but it can be kind of overpowering. I just need to do one, two, three more. Cool. So let's do a full box one on her. Or like fully covered, I guess. Oh, shoot. That's okay. It's clear. Thank God. I put it too low. Because obviously it's bigger than a full box size because I cut it at the bottom. That and one more. Cute. Oh, I love that. Okay, cool. And then let's do the headers. Obviously, I only have to do the top and the bottom row, so that's nice. Oh, that looks so good on that pink. I really like that. I wonder how it's going to look on the blue. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Ah, I don't know why I always try to pull it up when I kind of put it down sideways. Like pulling up foil is the absolute worst. Especially when it's already on something that's like printed and down. Okay. Let's see here. I'm supposed to be having like a ton of rain for the next few days because a hurricane hit South Texas. So like Austin's gonna get some of the rain and wind, but obviously not a lot because we're very inland. I hope everybody's okay. I feel like everybody's fine because it was like category one when it hit. Oh my gosh. Me, Brian, and my mom and my brothers when we were when I was in high school, we were in high school. I think it was like a category three hurricane hit North Carolina and Brian was over at my house and my mom was like, I'm not driving him home because <laughs> she was too scared to drive in the hurricane. And his dad was like, okay, well, he's going to stay with y'all. And our power went out for like three days. And Brian was with us and we slept. My mom and, well, I guess I am too. We're all really paranoid. So we slept in our kitchen floor, all of us. It was just so funny. He brought that up while my parents were here. My mom was like, I forgot all about that. All right. There's the base. I like it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the day by day. Okay, so I am back with the day by day as I was picking out all of my character stickers I was realizing that I probably made an Error and I probably should have put some extender boxes down, but mm, I don't have undo so this is gonna be interesting so first things first on Monday like pretty much almost every day this week I did get Duncan, because Duncan's my favorite. So I'm going to put that in. And then I did pool and package orders this day. Um, yes, and this, like, this order fill, I don't know what it was. I feel like it's, like, it was relatively similar to many other order fills in the past, but for some reason it was just a little bit more, like, intense. So I had just, like, the worst headache 
of my entire life this day. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do a flag for the working. I had like the absolute worst headache of just like my entire life. So I definitely want to mark that in. I just did blue and so purple. Cool. There's not a lot of labels, so I need to get used to that. And then for pink, for we had a Target pickup. So maybe I'll use another little thing for that. See, like I probably going to use a lot of little things this week because I didn't map anything out the way I should have. Okay, so yeah, I just had a really rough headache this day, but it was fine. Reagan is screaming downstairs. So is Avery. Fun. So for Duncan, I have all week I'm using these Foxing Cactus like pastel hair girls. They are like in winter attire, but I felt like the pastel hair matched with the colors of the spread really well. And then from Simply Beautiful Plans, I'm using a custom sparkly hollow Duncan script. Hopefully you can't hear my baby. I'm gonna go check on her and see if Brian's like got everything under control. I just realized it's totally bedtime and Reagan is having it rough because she's tired. So hopefully he takes her up to bed soon and I'll help with the like night routine. So anyway, for pulling and packing orders, the sticker is from Stick With The Plan Co. Oh, I love how it's both blue. Did not plan that. And I have a package orders script that is from the shop owner sheet from SPC. Kind of blends that hollow, but when you shift it in the light, you can see it. So that's good. And then for the worst headache ever, I do have a headache sticker from Once North Love. And I'll just keep the script on there, which is fine. I'll just write like the worst ever or something. And then for the Target run, I have an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I just love the Target run emojis from Coffee Monsters Co. This is my second sheet of them and I'm actually almost out again. But they're just so cute and I feel like they work really well. And then I have a Target run script in hollow. Cool. And then we actually ended up having Popeyes for dinner. Brian craves Popeyes more than any person I've ever met, I feel, in my entire life. And they're actually building a Popeyes close to our house. And I'm, like, a little nervous about it because I know we're going to go a lot more than normal, but it's fine. And then this night we did watch a movie. We watched Palm Springs, which I had never heard about. It's on Hulu, I think. Um, nobody ever, like, really talked about it. Really? I don't know. I just never saw like anybody really talk about it. It's got Andy Samberg in it and then the mom from How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> um, I guess spoiler alert if you haven't watched How I Met Your Mother, but it's, I feel like they lead up to it the entire show. Anyway, so um, yeah, it's uh, I would consider it to be a rom-com and I thought it was ridiculously cute. Like It was like actually so funny and super cute and I really enjoyed it and it's called Palm Springs. And I really liked it. So I suggest you watch it. And then I was supposed to film this night. So as you guys know, I talk about a lot how I'm like going to film and upload. And then it just never happens. Yeah, that currently just happened to me. Um, but I just was so lazy. Like I just wanted to lay. I had that headache. I just wanted to watch the movie and like go to bed. So it's pretty much what I did. So I'm using this burger box from Paper or Chicken Thing from Paper Shire to mark Popeyes. The little couple watching a movie from Once More With Love to walk, mark our movie night with the movie night script, of course. And then if I need to remember what movie, I'll just rewatch this video. And then uh, for my lazy night, I have the cutest little couch potato stickers from Coffee Monsters Co. And then a lazy day script, but I feel like that kind of is, it works, so. Perfect, so that was my Monday. Tuesday was a little bit more exciting. Excuse me. First things first, we got gas in the morning. Super exciting. So I'll put a little thing in for that. I also packed orders this day as well, so I'm going to use a label for packing orders. And then we got Smoothie King on the way home. I'll use this. And then we also got a car wash because I was like low-key embarrassed by how nasty our car is because there's like pollen all over it. So I'm gonna do for the car wash, I think I might do another little thing, honestly, just like keep the little thing train going because it works right now. Ah, what is going on? The sheet is all sorts of funky right now. There we go. I was like, what am I doing wrong here? And then we also like cleaned up a little bit because obviously like when your parents are coming to visit or like anybody's coming to visit, you wanna kind of clean up a little bit. 
so i'm gonna put that in i think also on another little thing which i know seems like kind of crazy maybe i'll do it on like a chunky that's too big you're right yeah you're right kristen i talked to myself here we'll just do another little thing for that oh i feel like it's all gonna get so smushed here with the character stickers so this is about to be really fun <sighs> okay so for getting gas actually not too bad from style planner i have the little mini car which fits perfectly. And I have a get gas script from Simply Beautiful Plans. It's custom, super cute. Haven't gotten to use it yet, really like that. For packaging orders, I could have used the script, but I decided against it. I'm actually gonna cut this one though, just a little bit. This is from Paper Shire from like the shop sheet. Hmm, I'll put it right here for now, I guess. My table is moved. I'll fix it later, sorry, I just realized that. So I'm gonna pop that in there. That looks really cute. For Smoothie King from the Food Doodle sheet from Once More With Love, she has Smoothie Food Doodle. So I'm gonna use the purple one because it matches the spread. Riggy is screaming. And then for getting, nope, getting a car wash. This is from Harriet Wright Designs. A little car icon with a bow. This is actually working out a lot better than I had thought. And then from Paper and Milk, I have the little Maru sweeping. And I have a tidy up script. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if you can hear Regan screaming. I promise you she's okay, she's just mad. Which like, also same, I feel her on a very deep level. Okay, and then my family was here. So I'm gonna use, I kinda wanna use the Sparkly Hollow for, I've used so many of these from the label sampler to mark them getting here. Can you see? Oh, it's so pretty. And then we had a pizza night. So let's do blue, yes. And then my butt stayed up until 1 a.m. Sorry, I feel like this video is gonna be all over the place because Reagan is like trying to go to sleep and she's mad about it. <sighs> anyway, so I stayed up until 1 a.m. this night. I don't know why, <laughs> why I put myself through the things I do. Um, but yeah, I pretty much had to get like drugged to bed because my family was like, Kirsten, you're really tired. And I was like, I know, but I just want to hang out. So that was an experience. What do I need? Dark purple? Hmm. Everything I have is like really small. I feel like I could change the pizza night to a little thing and use a dark purple label. I feel like that could work. We'll do a little thing for pizza and then a dark purple label. I knew this was gonna end up being like painful, but it's okay. Good thing we have little things. And let me like straighten this little thing out. Okay, so for my family being here, I feel like it's gonna come as no surprise since I have been using the same sticker for everything else. And it's in the sidebar. I'm using the grandparents because they're ridiculously cute. Pizza night, I have the pizza 2.0 sheet from Once More With Love. And then for her being drugged to bed, essentially, is the another Once More Love like sticker. I was just laying on the couch, like, sleep talking. They're like, Kristen, just go to sleep. I was like, I can't. <laughs> so much to say. Um, and then on Wednesday, it was my brother-in-law's birthday. I haven't wrote, like, anybody's birthday for Brian's family, and I feel like such a turd. So I'm going to start doing that. So it's my brother-in-law's birthday. I cannot believe he's, he's 23, and I've known him for what 10 years so I met him when he was 13 like he's such a grown-up now um and then we had like a family breakfast yes I'm gonna use a something for that maybe I'll use like a I'll use one of these thicker labels we had like a big family breakfast where Brian made like a ton of food for everybody and then my dad actually wanted to like I feel like this is such like a dad thing to like see what they can help or fix or whatever he was just like walking around the house like getting everything figured out he pretty much he didn't fix our yard for us but i have like a feeling that the contractor doesn't really care that our yard's messed up so we're gonna end up having to fix it ourselves which is fine but he like mowed the yard perfectly weed whacked did like so much work in our yard and around the house it was just so nice so i definitely want to mark that he was like helping us around the house and how do i want to do this yeah, I'll do it like this because I also want to quickly, like in a small little thing, mark that I took a nap. <laughs> I was just like, guys, I'm tired. So I did end up taking a little nap as well. So there's that. So for Jason's birthday, I'm going to use a little paper milk maru. 
this is one of the older sheets but like the sheets are still good and i have a happy birthday script from spc that i'm just gonna write happy birthday jason under that for breakfast this is from once more with love i believe this is from like her brunch sheet and i'm just like a little plate it works for that and then i thought this was funny because i i don't have any yard work stickers I actually have some coming in the mail but i'm just gonna use the little grandpa sticker because i thought it was funny and then for my nap i have a grin and bear it sticker it's pretty huge but it's okay because it can cover some of that uh header and then i have a nap script so that works for me perfect and then we were supposed to do um hop dotty for dinner which is like a burger place but it got kind of expensive kind of quick when we were doing the online order and we were like let's just do something that's like relatively cheaper so we ended up picking red robin because everybody still wanted burgers um but i eat a salad at red robin so that's how i feel i did not pull out a picture or a picture a sticker for our family pictures i'm gonna have to figure that one out um but anyway so we did end up having red robin like i said so i'm going to use another one of these labels here and then we did take family pictures which i posted the picture of this one hold on of brian avery and reagan which is like so cute but we have a family one i'm gonna post eventually and i have a couple other ones but we took one of like the whole fam too so i'm gonna use a like shiny box for that too because it was really cute and i just need to use more boxes and then um it was a trash night so i'm just gonna mark that peeling up these like matte boxes is it's possible but it's kind of a pain in the butt okay and then it was trash night like i said so pink so i need to do purple purple trash night i use one of these i can't believe i didn't pick out a sticker for that hmm i'll have to figure that one out i could actually i feel like i have an idea so i'm gonna use the salad from once more with love for red robin and I think for the family pictures, I'm going to use an icon from the Wiggle. There's a, oh, let's just do the camera. That makes sense. I'll just put the camera in and that's really cute and like super shiny. And I really like that. And then for trash, I have another paper and milk sticker. The Mario taking out the trash. Hopefully I can get this video uploaded tonight. Ugh. And a Simply Beautiful Plans custom trash day sticker. Cool. I just know these videos take such a long time to like render, so let's hope. Here's the first half. She's beautiful. I'm obsessed. Moving on to Thursday. I got Duncan on Thursday. So I'm going to use a blue little thing for Duncan. I'm using so many little things. Am I recording? Okay, I was about to say. Got Duncan on Thursday. And then the AC at work was like on the fritz like it was a hot mess for a minute so i was dying i'm like guys it's hot so i want to mark it being hot and i was sweaty for just a couple days it's like perfect now the air is so nice so cold there's that and then we did get an oil change this day let me use one of these for that and we had ike's for dinner Nobody could figure out what they wanted, and my brother was like, I'll eat a sandwich. And we were like, perfect, let's get a sandwich. So we had Ike's for dinner, which was really delicious. I'm just going to use this pink label here. I feel like I'm not explaining a lot because I'm just trying to think, but I apologize for that. So for Duncan, like I said, I'm using that same box and cactus sheet, but I'm using just a different girl every time, or at least I'm going to try and use a different girl every time with the Simply Beautiful Plans Dun custom Duncan script in Sparkly Hollow. As you can see, I'm doing like Sparkly Hollow and Regular Hollow. For it being hot, I have this Oh Hello Michelle like sweaty sticker, which I think is cute. For the oil change, I have the Stick with the Planco sticker for like car maintenance, which I really like. I've actually was saving this sticker specifically for car maintenance, like for um, oil changes. So I'm going to mark that. That's so cute and then i have the little sandwich sticker from once more with love the doodles for ikes i need to get like a custom sheet of all the places we eat a lot and then we went on like a family walk this night around the neighborhood it was super nice i really enjoyed that and oh boy 
And then my dad actually, I we have we have a lot of stuff still in our garage, but my dad was awesome and he brought up like all the heavier stuff that I really did not want to lift with Brian because we fight whenever we lift stuff together because I'm like, I can't do it. I'm a weakling and he's like, you can lift it. I know you can. I'm like, I really can't. Um, so he brought all my stuff up so I was able to kind of organize my office, which is really nice. It's not the, exactly the way I want it yet, but eventually it will be. And then this night, if you remember at the beginning of this video, I talked about how my 11 year old brother is a troll and he drives me insane. This night, this <clears throat> this kid I could have killed him so we were in my office because like I said I was organizing what was I doing yeah I was organizing my office I was like putting everything away and he saw that I had like a Harry Potter book trunk like one of the trunks that has all seven books all hardbound and he goes oh he, he's into Harry Potter he just he said I think he said he's read the first four books and he's on the fifth one right now and he said um what'd he say Oh, it just really pissed me off. I was so mad. Um, I'm using this little grandma and, like kid sticker to mark our walk. I'm using a Poppy Monsters Co. like stuff for organizing the office. And then an arguing sticker because I raged. Um, so basically, have you guys ever seen the like meme? I guess it's like a meme, but it's like a video that's like really popular. They People post it all the time. Of like, I think it's two brothers or two guys, but they're arguing over... The Wizard of Oz or like Wicked or whatever and he's like she or the witch the girl was a witch and she the sister was a princess she lived in a bubble dude like he got so angry that's how angry I got so my brother goes where's the eighth book I was like what eighth book he's like yeah there's eight books it's like no there's eight movies but there's seven books I was like do you mean the cursed child do you mean fantastic beasts where are you getting this eighth book from and my mom, he's the baby. So my mom's like, well, like the eighth book, like there's an eighth book on, you know, Amazon, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, there's not. We're not going to baby Bryson right now. We're not going to baby him. We're going to fight. Because then he started to troll me. And he's like, Kristen, you don't have all the books. You don't have the books. And I like, oh, I just raged so hard on him. I love him so much. But I just, it's one of those things. It just really bothered me. So anyway, I yelled at him. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. But I was so mad that night. Um, moving on to the next day, it was payday. I'm going to use a label up top for payday. Um, what color do I, I need pink, but I'm just using this blue because I don't really, I'm obviously going far off track here. Also had Duncan this day, so I'm going to grab, I think I'll just go ahead and go back to pink. No, I'll do purple because I have a lot of purple. Do Duncan. And then, do I really want to mark how sweaty I was? Yeah, sure, let's mark how sweaty I was. Mm. Yeah, let's do sweaty with one of these. And then I need a dark purple for sprinkler fun. Because we played in the sprinkler and I had a lot of fun. And the girls had a lot of fun, which is the most important. It was so cute. I actually have those videos saved on my phone. I was going to post them on my Instagram stories, but I totally forgot. So maybe I'll post those soon they're so cute so I have the payday script this was the last day that my parents were here I have a fox and cactus girl with her drink which I need to cut completely because I have like no space for anything let's see here that's pretty good I actually really like that again the same Duncan script looks really good for the sweating this is from coffee monsters co it's just an emoji sweating and like a pool of sweat, but I'm just gonna cut that part out because I don't have the space. And then the sprinkler, I have the cutest sticker from Fox and Pip. It's pretty large though. Hmm. I'm gonna have to cut this and I'm gonna have to cut the sprinkler, which kind of annoys me, but I feel like this still makes sense, so that's okay. And I have the script from the summer bucket list that says play in the sprinkler, so we definitely using that. Cool. And then we had my parents bought us like outdoor lights, which I had been pretty much talking about. Me and my dad were talking about our backyard and like all the things we wanted to do. So they went out and bought us lights, which is really nice. So we installed those. And then we had Perry's for dinner. I wanted to like treat them to Perry's, which has like really great pork chops. And on Fridays, their pork chop dinner is like 15 bucks, which is super cheap because it's normally like 45. So I got six pork chops for a hundred bucks. 
which is pretty great. So I got Perry's for everybody. That was like kind of like my treat since they had been pretty much spoiling us the entire time. And then we did play Monopoly, which was super fun. I haven't played Monopoly in so long. It was so nice to play Monopoly again. I was just like, obviously my mom won. You guys probably don't understand, but my mom wins always and it drives me insane. But mom won <laughs> and then um, they we had like a really emotional goodbye to the point where like my dad was crying and my dad doesn't normally cry and it made me really upset. I feel like we had all gotten like our hopes up about some things and you know they didn't come to fruition and so everybody was really upset because we don't know when we'll see them again hopefully soon but yeah it was a pretty emotional goodbye so for the outdoor lights install this is from like the diy sheet from stick with the plan co it's super cute so it has like the little lights for perry's i didn't know what to use so i just have this little like food icon from coffee monsters co monopoly the cutest little monopoly dude from coffee monsters co and then our emotional goodbye, I have the heartbreak sticker from Once North Love because, yeah, we were all crying and it was, like, really sad. And I really love my family and it just sucks. So they will be living here. I'm going to say soon. I'm just going to throw it out in the universe soon. So they did leave super early Saturday morning. Like, I think they left, like, as my first alarm was going off at, like, 4.30. So they left super early so we didn't get to say goodbye in the morning. It was a good night goodbye. So on Saturday morning, we did get gas in the morning. What color did I use? Purple. So I'll just use a pink for get gas. And then we did get Duncan. Can't resist Duncan. I really, I really can't. And it doesn't help. Brian is such an enabler. Like he's the worst. Okay, there's that. And then Duncan. And then I did do orders this day. I am going to put that in a half box though, because like I just need some space. So I'm gonna do a blue. Actually, I haven't done like any square off half boxes really. So let's get over to that page and grab a blue one. We're doing orders. These orders were a lot easier than the ones before. I don't know why the ones before were so crazy, but they were just like weird. They were just confusing. My head, just like I said, my head hurts so bad. So, oh, I gotta cover that up. Is this the same? No, it's not, but I can still cut it. I don't care. Do not care. And this will just cover that. And then I can put this on top. So excited to use the new little things. And then I have the Get Gas script again. And then for Duncan, the same little Fox and Cactus girl with a Duncan script. And like I said, I did do orders again this day. Oh, I'm using scripts like half the day, which is so nice. So I'm using the same stick with the Planko girl, but in pink this time. She's super cute with the pool orders, but I'm actually, yeah, I'll just keep it like this. It's fine. Pool orders script. Let's do a little bow or something under it. Uh-oh, Reggie's screaming again. We'll do a little bow or something because it's cute. Okay, and then I had a headache that, again this day, so I've pretty much, we've come to the conclusion today, they were talking about it on the radio, the cedar is high again, and like cedar fever is a thing here, I don't know why I did quotations, but like it's like allergies essentially, so my allergies have just been so bad recently, and that would make sense as to why I have a headache, so I had a headache again, I had one this morning too, as soon as I walked outside, so it makes perfect sense, and then we had pizza again for dinner, I think I might just use another little thing for pizza, honestly. Just been like abusing these little things. And then we finished Fresh Off the Boat. We had been watching Fresh Off the Boat for like a long time, actually. Just one of those shows we would put on like randomly and not really pay attention to. But we finished it this day and I really enjoyed the ending. I actually kind of got emotional about it. Thought it was really sweet and I just was like sad because that was one of the first shows we started watching after Reagan was born. So we finished Fresh Off the Boat. So anyway, for my headache, again, another headache sticker from One Summer With Love. These are all from One Summer With Love. The pizza box and the couple watching TV, which I need to get more couples watching TV stickers because I go through these so quick. Okay, last but not least, moving on to Sunday. In the morning, I had Whataburger breakfast, which made my whole day. <laughs> I love Whataburger so much. So I'm going to put that in. And while we were there, we were like, you know what? It's 7 a.m., no, the grocery store just opened, like, 
no one's in there let's just go get groceries really quickly so we did end up going into walmart and getting groceries nobody was in there it was like kind of nice but i just didn't want to be in there at all so um we did do that i'm gonna use a pattern washi for getting groceries first thing in the morning pretty much and then i was on silhouettes for like the majority of the day i need pink if not all of the day so let's just use a pink quarter box and then we had bush's chicken for dinner it's so funny how we get groceries and then just have like not order not eat food that we're supposed to that we bought i don't know what i'm trying to say you know what i mean i feel one two three this way so then we had bushes actually let's do it like this because i can make this space work a little bit better sorry guys i know that sound might be kind of annoying but anyway so for whataburger i actually have this is from the chick-fil-a sheet from pretty and primco but it's like a chicken sandwich and that's pretty much what i get at whataburger in the mornings and i have a custom whataburger script from planner-esque so oh it's gonna cover it mm, that's actually okay that's really cute i really like that and then for my grocery run i'm using the coffee monsters co with the mask because we actually physically went into the store which like i remember now why i hate going into stores because like oh my god i spent so much money on groceries it was all like junk food too and then i have a grocery run script and then for work i have the printer from paper shire with a sparkly hollow work script from simply beautiful plans that is so cute i love that okay and then bush's chicken i had the laziest day of my life i have become just a lazy bum i enjoyed it though i cannot be mad about my lazy bumness i'll put this in for that and then i was supposed to film this night but i went to bed instead <laughs> so i need to figure out how i want to mark that i like was supposed to film but decided to be lazy some music glitter quarter box that actually works a lot better so for bushes i'm using the same sticker that i use for popeyes because it's essentially the same thing i love bushes gravy though oh i could eat all of the gravy and then for the lazy day i have this mermaid sticker from fox and cactus which matches perfectly and then for just going to bed and not filming like a terrible youtuber because i've been really bad lately i'm using this once more with love sticker of the munchkin on the phone in bed because that was pretty much me so that is all of the day by day stuff. Okay, so I feel like this plan with me has been kind of all over the place, but look at this freaking spread. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and do um, some deco for sure. Hello phone. I feel like I'm gonna cut, yeah, I'm totally cutting her head off. Let's do it so I can cut off her head too because, oops. Yeah, that's perfect. I was like, I don't want to just cut off one person's head. Okay, there's that. Oh, I'm just so happy with this, like, spread. I think it looks so pretty. I've had the longest day. It actually hasn't been the longest day, but, like, it feels like the longest day of my life, and I don't know why. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm going to do this on this side. But, yeah, I don't know. I always feel like before I film my plan with me's, I have so much that I want to say and that I, I like come up with so many like, you know, fun, witty things in my head. And then I sit down to plan and I'm just completely lost for words and don't know what I'm saying. But I'm still really happy with the spread. So that's kind of the most important, I guess. Making sure I'm happy with what I'm doing because I get to stare at this for the rest of my life. Speaking of, I actually just put away all of my old planners. They're actually only in the closet in my office, but I eventually feel like I want to display them, but they're so fat. <laughs> like they don't sit upright without almost busting at the seams. So I got to figure that one out because yikes. All right. Do I have any more space? Yeah, let's do one more. Reagan is still not asleep. Goodness. I'm going to move these earrings actually, if I can, because they're kind of annoying me. I'll put them more to this side and then do this one here. All right, and then I am going to do some of the deco bits from the wiggle. Let's use the sparkles because those make the most sense. I think Avery's trying to corral Reagan to come upstairs. 
She always does this. She doesn't like to go anywhere by herself, so she corrals Reagan to come with her. I'm like, come on now. Reagan is literally one. You are five. How is she gonna protect you? Because you know she does it because Avery's scared, obviously. I mean, I don't know if you guys picked up on that. Sorry. Uh, and then there's this one. That's the last one. Cool. So let's cut all of that excess stuff off, which there's quite a bit. And I'm gonna try and up upload this video tonight because I want it to go up what's tomorrow, Tuesday? Oh gosh, I really was supposed to have this up Sunday and I just totally failed at that. But at least I'm still planning because if I would have stopped even more than a week, I don't know, more than two weeks, I don't know if I would have continued and that's not fun. I'm apparently now known to for doing that, so I don't wanna do it. I just want a complete planner for 2020. Oh, this looks so good. Yeah, I haven't filled out that spread yet. Oh, I cut that weird. That's okay. Okay, so. Not gonna put it back in my cloud because like I said at the beginning, my cloud is way too fat. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I was all over the place in the second half. It's like not late, but it is late, you know, for my head. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.